right? Working on the big three on strong side, the hip flip shot, the cross under one foot, and then the cross under hip flip shave. Um, you're going to see in your repetitions that your puck position and your pull mechanics are sometimes too far forward. That's when we get those poor quality shots, that ones that we're, you know, we're trying to snap halfway up the net and they're on the ice. Okay, I want you to also watch your head position and how often that you're scanning down before you're actually releasing the puck, right? It's changing your uh, puck position. And that's when we get those ones that are on the ice when we're trying to elevate about 12 inches off. So we got to really hone in our skills on this. So have a watch of all those reps. All right, just the basic shooting mechanics. Watch your back foot in comparison to mine, how you release it towards the net. All right, so you can really see here that back foot digging, whereas I'm gonna get full rotation. My head position is looking at the net over that right shoulder and then that back foot does not dig and it fully rotates towards the net. All right, just the hip flip shave, the velo tracker. All right, I think our average is right around 70. But watch the inconsistency in your puck flight. But at the end of the day, we do have pretty solid velocity for a kid going into minor midget. 71. <laughs> Right, the footage of us going over our one-timer mechanics like we talked about we have that bent right elbow we have that little short back swing and that blades open we're getting an inconsistent compression zone because of that variable All right, and just a regression drill to get that compression zone figured out. Watch the back foot and how I'm rotating towards the net in comparison to yours.